Hey Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a mid-month-ish reading for you guys. I know it's not out on the 15th, and I get a lot of questions about why I don't post on the 1st and the 15th, because a lot of y'all do wait for my readings to come out. And here's the answer, is that I need to be led to read, okay? I need to be led to read it. My readings aren't robotic, right? And whoever needs to hear this message needs to hear it right now, here, today. And this is what I'm led to do. So that's why I don't post regularly on the 1st and the 15th, because my readings are inspired readings, right? They're inspired readings. And if this was posted earlier or later than right this very moment that you're watching it, um, it may have missed the mark, right? So anyway, this is a mid-month reading. This is a general reading for the sign of Aries. General, meaning this is the general thread of energy that's going through the sign of Aries right now. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. Don't ever trust your life to a general reading. Don't make decisions from a general reading. General readings have an overall ability to give false hope. I've given so many readings to so many people who watch YouTube, right? Because I have a $50 YouTube special, so I read for people on YouTube like crazy. I have other clients from other sources that I read for on the daily. I mean, it's what I do all day, every day as I read cards. Um, so I've given a lot of readings where people say, yeah, I've been watching general readings on YouTube and I know this is my life and I know this is what's going on. And then we do a personal reading for them where the energies and the cards are their energies tailored specifically for them. And oftentimes they turn out very, very differently than the general readings that they've been watching. And it really surprises people in a good way right? In a good way, because the cards are for you specifically, not for a general general sign, okay? So if you have a very important decision to make, if you want confirmation of your own intuition, if you want understanding, guidance, and perhaps a peek at the future, then go to your favorite tarot card reader, and hopefully that is me, but go to your favorite tarot card reader and get a personal reading. Do not ever make decisions based on general readings, okay? All right, so let's, oh, if you want a personal reading from me, you can reach me at Deep Thoughts with Dana forward slash YouTube subscribers. There's a link in the box below. So this reading opens up with you, my friend Aries, um, with the lover's card. Lovers to the nine of pentacles. So there was a love relationship, but now you are a single self-sufficient individual with the nine of pentacles. Seven of Wands comes in and tells us that this has been a challenge for you. The challenge to become this single person. Two of Swords says there was a lot of indecision and confusion. But the Six of Swords says that you have made the decision to, to transition into calmer waters. A regretful but necessary transition. So something happened in this love relationship right here that uh, was a huge challenge for you to handle, right? And, you know, the Seven of, of Wands is about competition as well and feeling guarded and self-protective. So something happened in this love relationship that created um, this single self-sufficient energy. Lots of indecision, but in the end you make a regretful but necessary transition, the King of Swords tells us that this is an absolute decision. It's black and white, dropping the sword, no second guessing yourself type of decision. Because whomever you were involved with, with this love relationship right here, was the freaking devil. <laughs> was the devil, right? Because they were in a third party situation. Somebody, it looks, it looks like somebody has cheated on you, Aries, or caused some kind of, of, has introduced a third party energy into your relationship. It doesn't always have to be cheating. It could be a mama that's interfering in the relationship. It could be somebody that works too much. Whatever it is, it was a third party situation. The Ten of Wands comes in and tells us that this was a struggle for you, a huge struggle for you, a burden, right? A lot of stress and uh, reiterated by the Two of Cups, a love relationship. 
So whatever happened right here caused just a lot of stress and struggle and burden for you in a love relationship. Well, the wheel comes in and says that by your regretful but necessary decision to become a single, independent, self-sufficient individual because of a clear-cut decision about a, a toxic energy in your life that was in some kind of a third-party situation, the wheel begins to turn for you. The wheel begins to turn for you. This is a card about good luck, karma, one life cycle ending, a new life cycle beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. This creates a ton of excitement for you with the Princess of Wands. This card is about enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, a free spirit. This card tells me that you are very much okay with kicking this whole toxic energy to the curb. <clears throat> Queen of Swords comes in and says that this wheel is turning for you because you've cut out conflict in your life. You've cut out conflict. The Five of Wands is also about an increased focus on your goals, right? So this wheel is turning, beginning to turn for you, a turning point in your destiny because some kind of karmic relationship up here uh, didn't work for you. Right now, being a car, when I say a karmic relationship, it's important to learn lessons, right? So you can be mad that there was a third party situation and cut them out and be sad and leave and all that kind of stuff, but never forget, Aries, that every relationship that we're in, whether it's a love relationship or not, every experience and every relationship in our lives teaches us a lesson. So look back at this relationship, find your lesson, learn it, incorporate it so you don't move into the future with the wheel card making the same mistakes that you made in the past. Queen of Swords, cutting out, cutting, cutting this out of your life. Five of Wands, cutting the conflict out of your life and having an increased focus on goals. The Chariot comes in, says that you have the willpower the self-control, the determination to take whatever action is necessary to ensure your success. This locomotion is beginning to move, right? This wheel is beginning to turn for you because you made the right decision to remove yourself from a toxic situation. Six of Wands comes in and says victory and progress and self-confidence. The Princess of Cups, the manifestation of a creative new opportunity in your life. The Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling with somebody from your past, with whom you or something from your past, okay, somebody or something from your past, by which you are going to have a new beginning and take a new journey because you see things crystal clear. And you are going to communicate this. You're going to have movement in your forward motion towards reuniting and reconciling with someone or something from your past. King of Wands. This is you, Aries, presenting in your reading, right? King of Wands. He is he's a natural born leader. He's a visionary, right? He's confident. He's cocky. He knows how he feels, he's in touch with who he is. And this is you presenting as in your reading as a badass, absolutely in control of the situation. What you, this movement, this forward movement, this new beginning and this new journey after reconciling or wanting to reconcile or reunite with someone or something from your past is resulting in commitment. That's what's on your mind, Aries, is commitment. With this, with this situation from your past. Temperance comes in and says that you see this 
as purpose for your life right now. This is this is your focus. This is your goal. And God forbid, when Aries puts their mind to something, it is come hell or high water, they're going to accomplish it, right? That's the energy of the King of Wands right there. Come hell or high water, he is going to get what he wants. What he wants is reunion and reconciliation with someone or something from the past. He wants commitment in that reconciliation. And he feels that he, as in the King of Wands, feels that this is the purpose in his life right now. King of Cups comes in, says that uh, this, king, this King of Wands character has you, Aries, has big feels, big feels, right? Going to go forward with some action to get what they want, you want. Four of Cups comes in and says, much contemplation. Much contemplation and reevaluation of the situation. And reevaluation is applicable because if you are reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past, where is that card? If you are reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past with the Six of Cups, there the re, right? Redo again, right? Reevaluation of the situation. Queen of Wands comes in and says, super determined. The Empress comes in and says that you want to build abundance with this reuniting and reconciling. Queen of Pentacles. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and venture to say that this person from your past or this situation from your past um, has the overtones of the Queen of Pentacles. If it's not an earth sign specifically, it's somebody or something that embodies a sense of security and calm and, and grounded type of energy. This is what you're after right here. The Prince of Pentacles says that you are going to take your time. You're not going to rush into anything. You're going to test the waters and uh, figure things out. You're making a plan here as, as about how it is you're going to approach reuniting and reconciling. Five of Pentacles. You have left somebody out in the cold. And the Eight of Cups walked away. Now, this could also be saying that because you are reuniting and reconciling with someone or something from your past, perhaps in the past, because you're coming together again, which means you've had a relationship of some sort before, perhaps in the past, one of you have left the other one out in the cold. One of you has walked away from the previous relationship that you had before you got into this relationship right here. Strength comes in, says you got to be strong. You got to be strong because you are in pursuit of the Ten of Cups, right? You are in pursuit of harmony, happiness, values alignment in your relationship where there was a misalignment of values before, there will now be an alignment of values. Seven of Swords, betrayal, deception, shady behavior, right? This is a card about breaking free of the mental challenges from the shady behavior that created the walking away here. It's a, it's a healing, right? It's a, it's a healing. And the world card comes in and says you're about to start a new chapter and a new life cycle in your life. This wheel gets cranking for you. It gets cranking. It's a turning point in your destiny. And the world card says you're about to write a brand new chapter for yourself. Very interesting, Aries. I know this was quick and to the point, but nevertheless, whoever whoever needed this needed it. And that is your reading, my friends. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com forward slash YouTube subscribers. Link in the box below. Namaste.